Animal Hunters, the Sheep Killer here, and welcome back to Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. Last time we did even more at Celadon City. Pretty much the, the last two episodes were all at Celadon City. That place is pretty big. But this time we're finally out of Celadon City, and we finished taking on this cycling road sort of area. And now we are here. Ah, this is the life. Ouch. Don't you people look where you're standing? Halt! Not a step closer to Lady Erica. I don't care if it's a princess, I demand for an apology. Don't force me to hurt you, kid. Should I just let it go? Yeah. Clinton, that's enough. We were the ones at fault. Apologize to this young man now. Y yes my lady. Hm. You better be grateful that the daughter of the richest family and the gym leader of Celadon City is apologizing to you, boy. I do hope you were not injured. Oh, forget that. Did he say you're the gym leader of Celadon City? If that's true, then I'll challenge you in a gym battle. You challenge me? I've run two badges by finding the gym leaders of Pewter City and Cerulean City. Pewter City and Cerulean City. So this boy fought Brock and Misty. If you're a gym leader, then I can fight you for a badge too, right? <laughs> I accept your challenge. You do? However, I will not sully myself by fighting those with no ability. What do I have to do then? To prove yourself as a worthy foe, you must... Hmm... You know what? I'll tell you what. You must go back at Celadon City in my gym. That's a simple task. I'll be going back up there now. Oh, if we ride our bike, the normal cycling rule... If we go back on our bike, the normal cycling road rules apply, but... We can go through this road with no bike just fine. It's actually faster. Because of the whole uphill-downhill thing. I wonder why they don't require you to have the bike for second row in this. Maybe it's a bug. Here we are. The gym is finally open. Let's go. To prove yourself as a foe worthy enough to face me, you must capture an Eevee. Where can I capture an Eevee? Bill, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just visiting. <laughs> Never mind. You look troubled. What's eating you, Red? I need to track down an Eevee. Oh, heck, I just hop. It's just a hop and a skip on a Fero's back, but what a chore you've been given, boy. This Eevee's a rare critter, although I heard one was recently spotted around 17. 17. You'll need this to clear the trees, Red. Finally we get HMO one cut. Erica said we'll need to clear the trees, so I guess it might be beyond here. Oh, there's a Jolteon! Oh, this year's supposed to be the place. Oh ho ho! Looks like a little more info is tickling down the old Cyber Creek here. A feller says he now saw an Eevee breathe far. Huh? You know, far. Crackle crackle. Sizzle sizzle. You mean fire? You described Eevee like it was a fire type. I did. Gosh, that looks like an electric Pokemon. Jolt! Whatever, I'm going to catch it. So we might be catching ourselves a Jolteon. Jolt! Are we going to catch it or does it run away? It ran away. It got away. Now what are we going to do? Keep going, I guess? I guess we keep going. Oh, there's a Vaporeon there. Electric type is weak against ground type. Ah, water? What? That little Eevee is water? Ugh, it's going to drown me. Now we gotta battle the Vaporeon here. Had enough? I don't know, has it? Ugh, it just pushed me aside and there it goes. What is that Pokemon? And now it's a Flareon. Is it changing? There it is. Water and Thunder. I need a Grass Pokemon. Oh! It's far now! Fire? I think he's saying fire and accent makes me sound like he's saying far. Red, I think I figured it out. First I think we are, we're getting bad info. Then I thought it was our eyes gone bluey. But I was wrong both times, cause this critter is a far water and thunder. Crud, it's heating up the place. Any more surprises? I don't know. And off it goes. I guess now we gotta chase it up north, but what's over here? This is Route 18. And look, another old man. This area is mine! You'll have to pay 10,000 Poké Dollars to pass! And now it's just a normal Eevee. So I guess we're gonna bring in Poliswag for this one. Like I should have before, Ugh, Fire, water, and thunder! It can match all of my Pokémon weakness! There's no way of fighting it. There ain't any more way of fighting it! Eevee keeps twitching its ears like it's trying to detect something. Come on, Ivysaur! Ivysaur, cover Eevee's ears with razor leaf! Eee! 
now you can't detect my Pokemon's weaknesses. Now it's just normal Eevee, because it can't detect my weaknesses. So that Eevee goes down. I finally caught you. That's right, now are we gonna catch it? Nope. Off it goes. It injured itself by trying to get away. Are you okay? What's this? Red, something's not right. Take a look at this. This critter weren't born with those powers. Somebody enhanced it with this to your gadget. Grr. Come with me, Eevee. I got an Eevee. Oh, we can name it too. Let's bring back this nickname, just because I can't come up with another one. <laughs> hey, where are you going? I'm gonna find the lady who sent me to go after this Pokemon, because something tells me she knows more than she's letting on. And we're back. So I'm City Gem. Oh, we're not back yet. Milady Erica. I must ask what for things. The Eevee is our project's primary objective. If our plan is revealed through using a child like that. Milady? Wild Plume. Attack. What? A drowsy was spying on us? It seems you were followed. We must have that Eevee as soon as possible. That was Deoxys music playing there. Well, I'm gonna head back to Celadon City now. Let's just head back to the gym and see if there's anything we could be doing here. Oh, we have to battle these guys. I'm going back to heal. And I'm also gonna go give that rare cookie to the... Rare cookie? Lava cookie to that person in Lavender Town. Yep, there it is. Yippee! Lava cookies! Thanks, kid! Anyway, my roommate now lives in Floral City. Floral City? <laughs> Greg knows where it's located. So now I go off to tell Greg about the roommate. Greg! I found the place. Wait, you found the writer of this letter? Not yet, but according to Sailor Ted, the writer lives in Floral City. Floral City? That's north of Celadon City. Okay, I'll head there first. And off he goes. I guess the side quest won't continue until we make it to Floral City ourselves. Well, that's all the all three chairs done. Now let's take on Erica here. What's this? Hmm? Eevee Reconstruction? What the heck is that? Who are these people? Eevee is a very rare Pokemon that possesses the ability to evolve into any of the 19 highly distinct advanced Pokemon forms. If Eevee can be reconstructed, it can transform rapidly between all 19 of those forms. Then it will serve as a very powerful weapon. You have proved your worthiness. I accept your challenge with this rainbow badge as the prize. Cut the lies! Your experiment Eevee escaped! So you got me to go look for it! All those lies about proving I'm worthy to fight you were just so you don't have to do the job yourself. You know what? I don't need your sneaky badge. Well, I'm ready for the battle, unless you're afraid. Well, what's in this room here? And taking the same music here, and there's nothing really in here. I guess we're just gonna battle Erica. Here we go. And she has a bow and arrow for some reason. But up comes Tangela. Let's just go straight for the belly drum and try to try to sweep this person's team. And there's a stun spore. I'm not liking that. Don't get stuck, Sal. There we go. That didn't even one shot. I knew Tangela had good defense, but that's just ridiculous. This should be an easy one shot here. Yep, Sal is just destroying the competition. I think he's a knockoff, so I don't have my leftovers for this battle. That's not really a good thing. At least we dodged the stun spore, though. Sal should pretty much sweep this team now. Now let's see how well this vile food will do. They do not know that I can't get that I can't be poisoned. Slax is just too good in this gym. Now trying to unrest? Uh, tempting, but I'll pass. And King levels up as well. Perfect. <laughs> Impressive red. And with that, do we get our badge? How do you like that? That's merely child's play. Vile poop attack. Oof. Ugh. Where was that arrogance I saw before? Oh, I see the little one is near its end. An experimental creature's fate is a sad one indeed. The least I could do is put it out of its misery. Don't you dare! <laughs> no! Huh? The Eevee was, was an experimental subject for, an, for a certain organization. Huh? A few days ago, we received reports and learned about the Eevee from the reconstructed Eevee project that had escaped. Thanks to you, it is now safely in our care. Wait a minute, this organization. It's Team Rocket. To have any chance against them, we need information of their technology and their fighting power, more importantly. 
We need a trainer who has inner strength, morality, and compassion. A trainer like you, Red. And we get the rainbow badge. Sir Red was thinking they were evil, but they weren't the whole time. They were just trying to help the Eevee. You want to help us stop Team Rocket? Count me in! Now let me present you with a weapon that would help you in your journey. TM09. What's that? Bullet Seed. It's a grass type move that does more than two strikes. Good luck in your journey, Red. Now with that, we got Erica's gym badge. Still don't know how we're gonna get the others. I mean, from what I've seen, Lieutenant Surge, Blaine, and Koga are all bad. And Giovanni obviously is too. I have no clue about Sabrina though, but even still, I don't know how we get all the badges in that case. Hey, Red. Won't it be dangerous taking that Eevee along a witcher? Why would it be dangerous? Why? The bad guys are looking for it, too. You'll be a marked man. Heck, even that gym has been attacked by a psychic Pokemon. Who do you think behind him? Think what they'll do a little old you. Eevee, from here on, our journey is going to be dangerous. Let's go. Onwards to Fuchsia City. Onwards to Fuchsia City. Hey, boy, you listening to me? Ty, you spirit, eh? And off I go. Hoo hoo. So if he has passed into the boy's hands. Well, how perfect. Is that Sabrina? If that's the case, then Sabrina is bad. That'll make every remaining gym leader a bad person, so I don't know how we'll get all the badges. And now we can finally exit this route here on with Safisha City, like Red said. I'm training my Arbok to evolve into a Viper. Arbok doesn't evolve into a Viper. <laughs> You're a noob. Okay, now let's move on to Fusa City. There's a Pidgeot, and a Rhydon, and a Tauros, and a Seal. Looks like this place has a lot of Pokemon. Why are you blocking the way? And we need strength to get past there? These rocks require the HM Strength to move. You can find HM Strength in the Diglett's Cave. The, Dig the Diglett's Cave is located in Route 13. Okay, good to know. Are you just gonna keep telling me that? Come on, lady. <laughs> you want something? Well, you ain't getting anything! Wait a sec. Aren't you that annoying old man who's always in my way? So what if I am? Should I hit him? Yeah! Ouch, hey! Go away before I call Officer Jenny! And we can hit him over and over again if we want, okay? Why would if we say no, though? Go away! <laughs> Ouch, hey! <laughs> we hit him anyway, wow. Welcome to Safari Zone. For just 500 Poké Dollars, you get a ticket. Yeah, we'll go in there. Apparently it's only Victory Bell here. But let's explore the place. You no, know, what's this all about? Pidgeys? You wanna travel aboard the Pidgey Express? Okay, step right up the raft. Hi, I'm Pidgeybot1. I'm Pidgeybot2. Welcome to the Future City Safari Zone. How oh, cool, it's starting. Whoa, vile plumes. Awesome! Was that a Lapras? Mmm! Cool! Th those are Polyrath! I have one of my own, though. Now what are we up to? Can we just keep going? Are we gonna make a stop somewhere? This must be your lucky day, sir! Hmm? A battle between two Needle Kings! Roar! Why are they fighting? As always, they're battling over a Nido Queen. I never thought a Nido King would be this huge. It's gonna be a great addition to my Pokedex. What are you doing? Oops, I accidentally caught the Nido Queen. Hurry up, we need to get out of here. Distract them, Pidgeybot, too. Affirmative. I better get out of here. Hmm. Uh. Wake up. Mom? Wake up. Wake up! Alright, you! Now you've done it! S sorry Do you now see what happens when you break the rules? We'll have to walk to the exit from here. You don't mean... Walk? Shouldn't we just wait for the rescue team? Great idea! Except those Nido King are now allowed to kill you for their mates! Oh. I'm sure you know the wild Pokemon here are extremely aggressive! So hurry up! So did Pidgeybot 2 get destroyed, or is he just still trying to hold off those Nido King? And how did he accidentally catch a Nido Queen? That makes no sense to me. What's wrong, kid? I think I just heard something. And it's the Nido King! Pidgeybot 1, I need to save it! 
I rescued Pidgey Bot 1. Hurry up, get out of here. And off we go. Do you understand now? This is the Safari Zone. You were lucky this time, but that Nido King has marked you as an enemy. Thanks for bailing me out. Your wings, does it hurt? Pfft, I'm a robot. I'm programmed to see that the guest reaches the exit safely. The damage is nothing. It's your own safety that you should be worrying about. So what's up this way? It's raining. Oh no, we have to get to a safe house. Quick, this area is dangerous and the rain is only making it worse. But why? Because of Victory Bell. Gasp. Quick, run. This is the place where Victory Bell has taken over. Ah. Ah. Did Victory Bell get us? Wake up. Wake up. Wh where am I? This is Victory Bell's evolution ritual. We will be digested during this ritual. R ritual Digested? That's why you weren't eaten on the spot earlier. So I'm nourishment they needed to evolve? W what? Ah, I'm getting away. Uh-oh. Who are you? Hi, I'm the warden here. We have been monitoring your movement in Safari Zone. Victory Bell is deadly, but it's still a Pokemon. Fight it with your Pokemon. Uh, okay. That, that was quick. It's Nido King! <laughs> it's time to finally battle this thing that's been chasing us throughout the Safari Zone. Get out of here, Nido King. That was impressive, kid. I'll take you to the Safari Zone safe house now. I'm glad you're safe. What happened to Pidgeybot 1? It's back at Future City Gym for fixing. Is the gym here? Yes, but the gym leader has been gone for quite some time now. Ah, oh well. By the way, can you keep the Pokemon you caught in Safari Zone? Oh, but the old man was supposed to be saying that. He was saying you can keep the Pokemon you caught in Safari Zone. Thanks. You're one exceptional trainer, um, Red. Anyway, feel free to enjoy the rest of your time in Safari Zone. I'll head back to the Mission Control Center. And off he goes. Seems there's nothing for us to do for now. I don't really know what the point of that was, but we got through the Safari Zone nonetheless. And I guess we're gonna end it here. Yeah, with that, we're gonna end it here. And next time we put one of the Red Chapter, we're gonna keep continuing this story that we're going through. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Happy hunting!